Hey guys, it's Osman aka Pixelbig and today for you I'll be doing a video review of the Low Pro Photo Hatchback AW Camera Backpack. Now this bag comes in 16 and 22 litre variants in either Pepper Red, Galaxy Blue or Slate Grey. Today for you I have the 22 litre in Pepper Red which is definitely more of an orange than anything else. So let's start off by taking a look around the outside. The external dimensions of this comes in at 29 by 23.5 by 50.5 centimetres. There's a nice feeling carry loop at the top of the bag which after a year's worth of heavy use still hasn't started to break free from its stitching. The sides are equal in that they both have an elastic mesh pocket to hold small water bottles, not much else unfortunately. There aren't any clips above them to secure anything which protrudes more than a few inches above the opening like a tripod which can be a tad annoying. The back has a nice padded mesh for added breathability. Although after a few hours of use you may start to experience some heat build up in your back but the thick padding always remains comfortable even after extended periods. The mesh foam continues through both of the shoulder straps and there's an adjustable sternum strap and a loop on each shoulder strap to hook small things onto. The hip strap does look flimsy but don't be fooled. The backpack when stuffed full doesn't really get heavy enough to merit a chunky padded hip strap anyway so the flimsy kind really does do the trick. So at the bottom of the backpack there's a little slot held closed by a bit of velcro. This slot houses the built in all weather cover. The cover wraps around the whole of the front of the backpack and fastens around the top of the shoulder straps. It does the trick in short rain showers, but in my experience anything over about an hour to an hour and a half of rainfall, you'll end up having some rain running down your back and getting soaked in by the foam padding. It would have been nice if they included some sort of inner waterproof liner, or something to prevent the water soaking through to your valuable camera equipment. The internal upper section measures in at 29 by 125 by 24 centimeters, which I found plenty to carry a couple of flash guns, all of my filters and a few of the bits like a couple of sport bars and some other snacks. There are two mesh pockets at the front of the inside which are enough to hold my 67mm filters in their cases. To the back there's a zipped compartment with a key hook inside. On the front of the pack there's a zip which opens up a section for a laptop and a tablet. There's a nice foam partition providing a little bit of protection between whatever you decide to put in the two slots. There's also two loops designed to hold some pens which is always handy. So now it's packed with a bit more equipment that I'd consider taking out with me on a day trip. As you can see the material is strong enough to help maintain the shape of the backpack and even being almost packed to the rim the whole thing isn't bulky at all. Now to the best part about this backpack, the very reason they call it the photo hatchback. <laughs> that rhymes, I'll leave it in. The camera compartment is 22.5 by 11.5 by 19.5 centimeters. It comes with a decent amount of padded partitions which I found plenty to carry a camera and a few extra lenses. At the moment I'm recording this video using my Canon 700D that I'd normally have in the backpack but for demonstration purposes I've got a Canon 350D with a 55-200mm STM zoom lens fitted. I've also got in the compartment a Canon 50mm f1.8 prime, the 18-55 STM kit lens, a 10-18 STM wide angle zoom and various cables and spare batteries. On the lid there's also a handy elasticated slot to store a few extra memory cards. The hidden trick up this bag sleeve is that the camera compartment can be removed with a firm tug, revealing the velcro that is secured to underneath. The compartment has a nice drawstring cover with some useful carrying handles. Folding flat the partition inside allows you to utilise the full 22 litres to your heart's content. So a very nice backpack from Low Pro with only a few things I can think that I can improve on, like the ability to carry a tripod and maybe some better water protection in the back. However for the price it's definitely a steal as a day pack or even for a short breakaway. Check the description box below this video for the up to date price details. So that's it from me for now, I hope you've enjoyed the review. Don't forget to like this video and be sure to subscribe for more reviews like this in the future. You can also find me on Flickr, Facebook and Instagram. Links again will be down below in the video description. Thank you for joining me and I'll see you on the next one.